Hello, you're watching BBC World News. I'm Nuala McGovern. Our top story this hour, Iraq's government and Shiite militia prepare for an offensive on Ramadi. Welcome to the programme. Well, other stories that we're also keeping across for you. But first, Iraq's Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi has been meeting with Shiite militia groups to work out how they can recapture the city of Ramadi from so-called Islamic State militants. Thousands of militiamen are reported to have gathered at a military base to the east of the city to prepare for the offensive. Meanwhile, the UN has warned of a funding crisis as it tries to help the 25,000 people who have fled the fighting. Jane Francis Kelly reports. Well, meanwhile, the Iraqi government is also fighting so-called Islamic State militants in the northern city of Mosul. Air operations are a key part of the battle plan and have been supported by international allies, including the United States. Our correspondent, Nafise Konavard, has had exclusive access to these flights and sent this report. Well, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a growing problem around the world. It's widely predicted to become the biggest cause for liver transplants in many countries, and that's within the next decade. But now scientists at Newcastle University in Northern England are hoping to find a cure by conducting the biggest study of its kind in the world. Sharon Barber reports. Sally's here with the business news, taking a look at the conditions of some of the workforce around the world. Yes, indeed. The worldwide workforce is becoming increasingly insecure, which may not come as a... about 20 minutes. Thanks very much, Sally. Well, in what's been seen as another important step in reconciling Northern Ireland's troubled past, Prince Charles is set to meet the president of Sinn Féin during a vi visit to the Republic of Ireland. The political party was closely linked uh, to the IRA, who killed the prince's great uncle in a bombing 36 years ago. Well, stay with us on BBC News, still to come. This is BBC World News. I'm Nuala McGovern. The latest headlines this hour. Well, as we were hearing, the Iraqi government is assembling forces for a counteroffensive on the city of Ramadi, which is now under control of the so-called Islamic State. But they're not the only ones working on a plan to fight the Islamists. In neighbouring Jordan, 18 countries, including the US, have been staging drills on, amongst other things, how to recapture an international border. 10,000 troops are involved. Well, one of the big problems for long-distance space exploration is how to feed astronauts who are away from Earth for extended periods of time. Growing food in space seems like an obvious answer, but it isn't that easy. So now there's a project being launched to see um, thousands of school children. They're going to experiment on seeds that have spent six months on the International Space Station. Our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh, tells us more. So it remains to be seen what will happen. Well, to matters on the pitch in West Bromwich Albion have beaten newly crowned English Premier League champions at Chelsea. That's 3-0 at the Hawthorns, inflicting just their third defeat of the season. Australian teenage golfer Minji Lee won her first LPGA Tour title on Monday, shooting a six under par 65 in a rain-delayed final at the Kings Mill Championship in Virginia to finish two shots clear of South Korea's So Yun Ru. Well, Hollywood superstar George Clooney has told the BBC that he intends to do more to help the people of Syria, but without being formally involved in politics. He also explained how his marriage to international human rights lawyer Amal al mudin who is of Lebanese origin, has given him a new perspective on the Middle East. George Clooney was speaking to the BBC Arabic Sam AC to promote his new movie, Tomorrowland, A World Beyond. So no political ambitions there. George Clooney talking to the BBC Arabic's Sam Assi. Now, don't forget, you can get in touch with me and some of the team on Twitter. I'm at BBC Nula. And coming up in a few minutes, World Business Report. Sally will have that. But first, let's take a look at the weather where you are. Goodbye for now.